my dear brothers and sisters, first and foremost, I would like to thank all of you from MTDC, MTFD, and all the UNO family. Now we are one. No force, no force on earth can create a division no longer. So my dear friends, thank you so much. Your solidarity, your work, your contribution is being reflected at the front line back home. So don't give up. Don't give up. Your prayer, your contribution, your rallies, your slogans, your writings, your tutors, your social media, everything strengthened the heart, the mind of our people back home in the front lines. Well, I give my heartfelt reverence to our departed souls, our warriors, our heroes back home, who in defense of our land, our identity, and who we are, I give respect to all of them. And also, this was my dream, that all the representatives of the Kukizo family come together, stand as one, share the feelings, the pulse of the people whom they represent. And today, we have our 10 representatives coming together despite their differences and political differences. Once again, a big round of applause for our 10 MLS. They are here for us. We are here for them. Don't forget. They never think they are from different political parties. It doesn't matter now. And it does not matter for me too. So we are fighting for our cause, for our cookies of people. Political doesn't matter. Your affiliation to any political party doesn't matter. We have to support them all. In the annual of our Cookie Joe history, this is the first time ever that our representatives come together, share our feelings, and fight for our cause. And my dear brothers and sisters, and also media here, this is very clear. This is very clear. My media friends, listen it carefully. This is very clear. The violence, the ethnic violence against the tribals is a state-sponsored terrorism. It's a state-sponsored terrorism. We know. We know who is in charge here. We know. I experienced a lot and it was difficult and I can't be seeing our fellow friends giving up their life, spending time without food, spending time in the midst of the jungle, spending time without any weapons. All they have is a fire which they can use only for just to lit up their camps and their bunkers. Look at their situation. But today, I'm here to share what I have experienced back home. Now, let me not go to those points, but I would like to tell something. In 2007, in 2007, anyone of you remember 2007? Yeah. Yeah. Anyone of you remember 2007? In this same place called Jantan Mantar, have you ever remember? Yeah. Um, our sister Grace Guiti is here. Uh, 
and Sister Lian, right? They are here, some of my friends are still here in Delhi in 2007. You know what? From this very place, we set our people of Parbung, our women of Parbung, our people of Chandel, from the gluts and crimes of UNLF. You remember that? Yeah. Our women were raped in purple. Yes. And our people were maimed, killed because of IED planted by United National Liberation Front. And we set them free. We are people, we set them free from here itself. One of the largest jail in Asia, that is, what is that? The Heart Jail. We spent two nights there, and all the Cookie Joe families were running for life, and we were saved by the grace of God. I was beaten to that almost close to that. And still today, I survived. I came back here in Delhi, the place where I was beaten back black and blue, the place more than thousands were beaten black and blue, the place where more than 300 were jailed at Tihar Jail, the place where we fight for our people. Today, you are here. We gather here. And I promise and I appeal you from here today onwards. We will set our peoples free from the clutch. We will set our people from here, from the clutch of state-sponsored terrorism patronized by Mr. Pillet. So my friends, you are fortunate enough to be here a gentleman bearing the scorching heat. But believe me, you will set our people free from the rain. So last but not the least, let's not give up. Yet to come. The worst is yet to come. We are here, I am here to fight for our people. Till our last breath. Don't, don't give up. Don't try to give up. And also, this is not only the attack to destroy our villages, our house, not just looting our property. Believe me, they're my they're young friends, students. They are trying to destroy our intellectual property. They are there not just to destroy our house, our village, but believe me, they are also to destroy our intellectual knowledge, our intellectual property. So my dear young students, don't give up in your studies. Do good. Do good. We have to overtake. We have many history to write. We have many, to, many history, many stories, many facts and figures we have to present to the outside world that the Cookie Joe families are this, we fight the British. We have a history called Anglo Cookie War. We fight three years against the mighty British ruler. No, after Manipur is fight, but we fought. So don't give up. You have many things to write, many things to research, to let the London, the US, the European Union, any of the country outside India should know that you contribute. Each one of you students, you contribute what they try to destroy today. They burn down the intellectual properties of our scholars, of our students, of our professors, all their belongings, all their research, hard-earned research, materials, documents, what they have acquired, spending three, four, months, a year, back home, they totally burn it out. They totally scared it out. And I'm shocked. I really feel pain to come across Professor Kamkentang Kam 
His properties has been burned down. All the books. It's all about our history. So we have to create another history. Your students here. So lastly, I want every one of my fellow friends to raise up. Raise up, please. I have seen this situation will come. I have predicted this situation will come. Nobody hear me out. I tell you, my fellow friends, from today, let's hear out. Let's hear out to all of our representatives who really fight, who really care for our future. We are here for our future. Our future can be shaken. Raising the 